Ben TK did amazing effects in this video. And he created this effect with After Effects. But today I will try to make something similar effect, inside the Adobe Premiere Pro. Hello everyone, before starting this tutorial, you can check out my 50 smooth transitions pack under the description link. These transitions are pretty easy to use, just drag and drop transitions. Now let's see how to make the ground opening transition. Here I'm using this video clip. And you can use any video that has a circle shape. And video needs to be without camera movement. So first duplicate this clip. Select this top layer. And I like to start the animation after a second. Now move to the Effect Controls tab. Under the Opacity tab. Select the Pen tool. And double click on the program text line to make it full screen. Then draw a mask around the circle shape. And try to make the mask properly. When masking is done, again double click on the program text line. Now set the mask feather to zero. And make a keyframe on the mask path. Then click on this track mask forward icon. So this will automatically select this round shape for the rest of this clip. Then move the time indicator to the first keyframe. Again duplicate this top layer. Now select this top layer. Then under the masking effect, enable inverted. Now select this middle layer, and make keyframes on the rotation and position. Then move 20 frames to the right side. So hold on shift key, then click the right arrow key 4 times. Again make keyframes on the rotation and the position. Now move to the first keyframe, by clicking this left arrow key. And set the rotation value 360. Now as we can see it's rotating, but it's not accurate. So we can set the anchor point, center of this circle shape. Click on the motion, and move this little circle, center of the shape. Now it's better than before, but not perfect. Now we are going to use the position to make it perfect. So move the time indicator to the first keyframe of the position. Then move one or two frames to the right side, and adjust the circle position. Let's zoom in a little bit, so we can see it properly. Again move two keyframes, and adjust the position. And do it continue until the last keyframe of the position. Here I just speed up this part, so you don't have to wait. Now it's perfect for me. Then move the time indicator, last keyframe of the position and move 10 frames to the right side. Again make keyframes on the rotation and the position. And move 20 frames to the right side. Set the rotation value 360. And move the position to the left or the right side, until it's completely disappeared. And we are almost done. To remove the bottom circle, just cut the bottom layer where it's moving to the right side. As we can see there are some side edges. To remove this side edge, select the top layer. Then set the mask expansion around 20. And set the mask feather 10. And that's it. Let's see a quick preview. Now we just need to add the zoom in animation. So select these two layers, right click, and nest them. Now find the frame, where you want to add the zoom in animation. Then move over to the effects tab, search for the transform. And apply this effect on the nested clip. Now go to the effect controls tab. Then under the transform effect, make a keyframe on the scale. And move 20 frames to the right side. And increase the scale size, until your clip completely disappears. Then make these keyframes to ease in. Also, you can set the shutter angle 360 to add the motion blur, but I am happy with it. Then add another clip to the bottom part of the nested sequence. 
And that's all for this transition. Now let's render it to see the better preview. And that's all for today. So if you enjoy this tutorial, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. And if you have any questions, please feel free to ask me on Instagram. I will see you in the next one. Have a nice day.